Well, hi everyone. Thanks very much for clicking on this video. Um, I always preface these kind of review videos or product overviews with a little disclaimer. Um, I'm not a tech reviewer and I always like reviewing gadgets depending on what they are. And last year I started to review um, solar power generators uh, or portable power stations um, because I think just with the situation with energy at the moment and things being so expensive, if you can save a little and have some portable power on your car camping or camping adventures, uh, then all good, especially if you're harnessing the power of the sun whenever it decides to shine. At the moment, it's a bit gray, so we're just waiting on some nice sun to be able to show you the solar panels, which come with this one. But this is the All Powers R1500. I've reviewed a smaller portable power station by All Powers, and it's a nice bit of kit. I've tried out different ones by various different brands. I'm just going to fly through this. Um, you know, it is portable power and you can top it up via various different methods. You can use solar panels for some free power. You can plug it into the mains. You can use it with uh, solar power and mains power. There's different combinations of charging up at the same time. You can also charge this one via the 12 volt kind of socket in your car as well. So if you go into a campsite somewhere and you haven't managed to charge it up, it's a bit of a last minute decision. You can just plug it in on the way and top it up and get some power into it. Now on that note, if you haven't managed to remember to top it up, you can put it on like a fast charging mode and you can go from zero to 80% capacity uh, in 45 minutes, which is good for those kind of last minute impromptu trips naught to 80% in 45 minutes. That's on the max um, charging mode. Um, it's obviously a little bit kind to the battery not to use that, but it's just there if you need it. So what are these for? Um, you know, there's loads of videos on YouTube, isn't there? People reviewing them and things like that. I've not been paid and I don't get paid to say anything good or bad about this product. Um, I'm sent it and it's go and use it and tell us what you think. That is my prerequisite for anything that I talk about product wise. Um, I won't do anything whereby I've got to say positives about it. It is a misconception and there's a lot of like people thinking, yeah, whatever, of course you're going to say something good. I've got these, I don't need any more. I like to test out new ones and if I think something's good and it helps other people out, saves you going wasting some money on something which isn't the best, well then in my view, that's all good. So. I use them for back garden camping with the kids. If we're plugging um, iPads in and watching movies or lights around the camp or car camping. We went to the Lake District last year and I used one by another brand, took it in the car and it's great. We had a couple of days worth of power and we had the solar panels too so that we could just keep topped up. The kids have their devices, their iPads, the iPhones um, and it's just good having that flexibility. Uh, where you've got some portable power with you as well. So they come in all different shapes, sizes and capacities. This particular one is 1152 watt hours. It's a big unit, but it's not cumbersome. Uh, it's okay to carry yourself. It's got some handles on the side, control panel on the front. So what I'm gonna do now is talk you through the features. And then when the sun shines, I'll show you how you set it up with the solar panels to get some free power or energy for your hopefully car camping adventures or whatever you need it for, portable power around the home or out and about. So we'll have a look at the brains of the unit, the front control panel, you've got this LCD screen, press and hold the power button in the centre and at a glance you can see how much charge you've got left, what the unit is putting out and what's going into it in terms of topping it back up, obviously nothing at the moment. Um, that eight days there just shows you that at its current state, this would last for eight days. Um, so exactly what it says on the tin there. You've got two circuits. You've got a DC circuit and then your AC circuit covered by these rubber protectors along the bottom. And then depending on where you are in the world, you will have your particular power adapters there, obviously here in the UK. Uh, for this one. So if you look at the DC circuit to operate that, it's just a simple single press of that button. You've got an LED that tells you the circuit's active and you've got two USB A's which output a maximum of 18 watts and you've got two USB C outs and they are the quick or the PD 100 watt max. So any of your products that support fast charge, I've got a drone which does, uh, it's great because you get a much higher um, charging rate out of that. So you've got two of them, which is great. 
You've also got a DC output, um, the old uh, cigarette socket kind of things uh, that you'll see in your car, and that's great for those kind of 12 volt fridges. So again, max 12 volt 10 amps on this one. And then the AC circuit, that can output 220 to 240 volts at a max of 1800 watts. That's the maximum that this unit can handle um, when we're trying the air fryer out in a bit of an extreme test for it when we've got both trays running. Uh, that might tip it over that, I suspect it will, but we'll see when we've got that trial to come. Obviously it's the same to operate the AC circuit, just a single press. You hear the fans start up. It's not too loud. Obviously if it's drawing or it's, it's outputting a load of current, uh, the fans will kick in at a higher rate and there'll be a bit more noise, but it's not massively audible and you get a bit sort of various symbols on there uh, telling you what circuit you've got active just on the top there and again sorry about the reflections there's not much i can do about that just because of the nature of this screen and when you turn that off you will see those status symbols extinguish now it's got bluetooth because there's some app support to enable bluetooth you press and hold the dc circuit button and you get the wi-fi and bluetooth symbol there so it's good that it's wi-fi as well because uh, if you're out of range, you've got some distance away, you can still kind of keep an eye on what the unit's doing. So if you're inside or away from it and it's topping up via the sun, um, you can just dip into the app, see kind of how it's doing, how much it's got left to go. And that's a nice handy feature. Again, just press and hold to turn that off. Likewise, the main unit, press and hold and that will turn off. So moving toward the top of the R1500, it's got two wireless circuits which support wireless charging up to a maximum of 15 watts again it runs off the dc circuit so you've got to turn it on first so if you've got a phone that supports wireless charging stick it on there and there we go and it supports fast wireless charging because it's the 15 watts so you've got two there and um, so yeah plenty of room for people wireless charging and charging your phones if you've got the family with you most phones do now support that feature. So you can have two on the top, two on the bottom via the USB-C, which the majority are now. So plenty of phone juice going back in for the family with the features on this one. So the solar panels with this one, they are a bit of a unit, uh, but they do fold up. You've got a nice padded carry handle at the top um, and you've got some clips on the front. we we'll just get into these. Um, I won't be able to get it all out, I don't think, full width. Uh, but these are an absolute unit. Uh, there's four panels in total. So there you go. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. So that gives some decent power into the device. Uh, flashing up below is the exact watch you can get on the ideal conditions with a cloudless sky. You can also hang this up on a fence or something flat and you've got some tabs at the back um, which have press buckles to set various different angles we'll see that when we take them outdoors and get them set up there but you know free power in this day and age it's always a good thing and again if you fold it flat like this width wise it's next to nothing so if you've got that in the boot of your car just slot that in next to it uh, and they're self-contained power as long as you've got a bit of sun you are completely independent off the grid you've got a nice power solution for your camping adventures so it's an absolute miracle we've got a bit of sun just before it falls behind that bank of cloud now it might be hard to see on the display but what we're getting we are getting 60 watts 70 watts obviously i'm casting a bit of shadow there i really apologize that you can't see that you're gonna have to take my word for it but even though we're still in winter here in the UK and get enough juice to get this topped up and then these velcro feet at the back there's a little bit of elastic here and they just pull out to the best angle the most efficient angle so there you go a bit of free top up dead easy just plugs into the side of the unit here always make sure that you plug it in first and then open the panels because as soon as they're exposed to sun they start generating electricity so it's just a bit of a safer way of doing it and that's it so if you're on your camp 
you'd have your tent set up and you're getting your free power top up for whatever you need it for so you're totally as long as you've got a bit of sun self-sufficient So just a bit of fun, we've got a Ninja air fryer hooked up to the All Powers R1500 solar generator. Let's see what happens when both baskets kick in now. We should see an increase in the draw there. 1,269 watts. There we go, that's just too much draw. And uh, yeah, it's turned itself off. So that was a big ask in fairness, when you've got two fans drawing current and the two heaters at the same time. I wanted to see where it could handle that and it was just too much draw. Some power generators have what's called a heavy lifting mode um, where you know it gives them sort of increased capacity. Um, but that was just too much draw for this particular unit. Big ask and maybe with a more powerful setup that's something it could handle but in reality you're not really going to be using one of these air fryers when you're out camping um, certainly I wouldn't be taking that on a car camp but we'll do some more testing I'll give you an overview of it and then we'll wrap this one up well time for test number two obviously it couldn't handle both drawers on the air fryer so this is a Panasonic um, inverter oven so it's like a combi microwave grill all that kind of stuff now you won't be able to see, but I think it draws 1,630 watts on the sticker there. So it's uh, it's Friday, we finished work, and it's all about the convenience. So we're gonna do this nice chicken tikka masala. Right, let's lose our clock settings for YouTube. And in the AC area, so you've got four UK plug AC ins there. Turn that on wait a second so there we go the circuit's on so three minutes let's see what it's going to start drawing now you can hear the fans kick in as that high current is drawn it's not too loud and it's obviously much quieter than the fans in the microwave itself and just on the display here I'm on the single focus camera but you can see that we're not inputting anything into the device that it's drawing uh, how many watts 1437 at the moment 50 hertz obviously running on the uk um, and how much time is left remaining uh, at this current draw so that's handy to have so you know at a glance will i've got 24 minutes left at the current rate of draw um, and then the overall charge there you can clearly cook yourself a meal via a powerful category e microwave oven so that's enough on that i'm gonna have my evening meal and i'll bring you back right so my final thoughts on the all powers r1500 um, with the solar panels it's a reasonably priced package um, just for some self-contained off-grid power for car camping in the uk at the moment we're still in winter um, but it's not going to be long until people are out um, and again cost of living at the moment things are pretty tough aren't they so um, I certainly don't go abroad and I holiday here in the UK with the kids invariably camping or somewhere like that and you really enjoy it um, so to have the ability to generate your own power from the sun again fingers crossed if it's shining is uh, is really really useful and handy on those kind of trips away so um, in terms of pricing um, I'll have a little look on my phone now um, you can get this one for 600 quid at the moment and there's always offers as well. So whilst the links aren't affiliate in that I don't get anything whatsoever, I'll see if I can uh, get hold of a discount code 
and if so check out the description below this video and if I can I'll leave it there for you so make good use of that with the solar panels 700 quid um, so it's not cheap um, and it's definitely a considered investment um, but all powers are sort of priced toward the lower end of the scale and um, there's some other brands which are a little bit more premium just in terms of price so if this does things just as good um, and it's a little bit of a better price point well it's definitely one worth considering especially with the two sort of wireless um, charging options on, on the top of the unit that's good so just going back earlier in the video with the 1800 watt uh, max capacity obviously using the ninja air fryer with both baskets that obviously tipped it over that and it's not really a realistic test you're not going to be doing that on a campsite are you i just wanted to see sort of what the unit could handle you know just see the trip out protection and stuff like that so 1152 watt hours total capacity with a max sort of output of 1800 watts so it's quite flexible and um, like i say topping up via your car via the ac of the grid or solar makes this a very adaptable and flexible unit so i'll be heading off on a car camp at some point uh, hopefully quite a few in the summer so there'll be some more longer term testing but in the meantime i hope you found this video useful if you've got any questions about the unit uh, whatsoever or the solar panels let me know in the comments and i'll get back to everyone uh, thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video and take care